Balthazar the shepherd isn't allowed on your pasture. Oh yeah, that story. I told him Sekob should pay me money if he wanted to lead the sheep into my pasture. To tell the truth, that's only harassment. I just can't stand Balthazar. How's the situation? Malik has disappeared and taken everything and everybody who would work for me with him. He said he was headed for the mountains. He couldn't stand it here anymore. The hordes of monsters pouring out of the pass every day into the high pastures are really getting to me. If at least I had a few helpers or mercenaries. There was even one who was willing to work for me. Changed his mind though. I think his name was Wolf. It'll be all right. Without Malik, nothing gets done around here anymore. If something doesn't happen soon, I'll have to give up my farm. Hopefully, he'll come back soon. Hey, you! The water mages have discovered a portal to an unknown part of the island. Interesting. As soon as you find out something that is really helpful, be sure to let me know. The artifact of Belyar could be hidden somewhere there. Find it. I'm back from the Valley of Mines. High time, too. What did you see? You were right. The land's been overrun by an entire army of the enemy. Orcs are besieging the castle, and dragons have laid whole areas to waste. It won't be long before they attack Corinus, if I'm not mistaken. Lester said you wanted to see me at once. What the hell has happened here in the meantime? The enemy has learned who you really are, and that you're planning to get hold of the Eye of Enos. He has recognized the threat. It has forced him to leave his cover and openly attack. The game of hide and seek is over. Yesterday, nobody knew what the enemy's attack would look like. Now it has become only too obvious. I finally got the proof that Lord Hagen demanded of me. What proof is that? I received a letter from Garand, the commander of the Paladins in the Valley of Mines. In it, he asks for reinforcements. That should be enough to convince that militant warhorse. Well done. I was attacked by magicians in black robes. The enemy has many faces. The Seekers are one of them. They're really the ones who prepare the ground for the enemy. They have taken up their positions in strategic places and are now only waiting for an opportunity to spring the trap. Stay out of their way. They are very powerful magical beings and they will try to deter you at any cost. What will be the next step now? Go and bring Lord Hay in the letter from Garand so that he may grant you access to the Eye of Enos. Then go to the monastery and talk to Pyrocar. He must give you the Eye. Nothing is more important than getting this artifact away to safety. Go now before it's too late. The enemy will also try to lay his hands on it.
Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there.
Any new developments in the last few days? Just go down the path to the city. If you run into a fellow with a black robe, then you'll know what's new. Have the black robes come to see you yet? Yeah, they've been here for a few days. If you ask me, they come straight from hell. How are your sheep? As if that would interest you at all. You have other problems. My problems? What would you know about that? You noble lords from the monastery should do something about these hooded fellows. Hey, watch your mouth, buddy. All you can do is talk big. The best thing would be if you went away. Well, don't get all worked up. Beat it! Aren't you feeling well? No, not at all. I've got this awful fever again. I should really go and see the town healer, but I'm too weak for that. Can I help? It would be wonderful if you could go to Vatris and get me my medicine. He'll know what is to be done. I can't do it anymore. Hey! How's your farm? I can't stand it anymore. All of a sudden, these fellows in black hoods showed up and posted themselves on the road and on my farm. I spent a long time talking to Vino, and then they disappeared with him. A short time later, my wife took deathly ill again. She spends most of the time just lying in bed. And that happens to her frequently. I'm falling apart here. Have you talked to the men in black? Sure. There was no way to prevent it. I think they're looking for someone. Why don't you do anything about those black robes? Well, I'd surely love to, but I saw how they burned one of the townspeople alive. Just like that. Why should I risk my life? Why don't you take your wife to the healer? We ought to go to the city to see Vatris about it. But I won't budge an inch from my farm as long as things are so chaotic here. What was their business with Vino? They didn't say. They just took him with them. Where did they drag Vino off to? They went up that hill with him.
Watch. Yourself. My head? I, I can't stand it anymore. You should go to the monastery. Pyrocar, the highest fire magician, might be able to help you. Do you think? Well, okay, I'll give it a try. Good thing you're here. You need to help me. You listen to the wrong people. What is this about? A lot of things have changed since I left here. I have to get back on my feet somehow. What's the problem? I have to get into the upper quarter. But I'm not a citizen of the town, and I don't have enough money to bribe the guards. That's where you come in. So you want me to lend you some gold? Nonsense. I've got some gold, a whole lot of gold even. Unfortunately, I don't have it with me. You need to go fetch my gold for me. What's in it for me? Have I ever asked you what you could give me in return? We're friends, shouldn't that be enough? I've heard a thing or two. Okay, I'll help you. Well, listen, back when the barrier was still in place, I hid a small treasure. It's been quite a while, that's why I forgot to take it with me. And I can't leave here at all at the moment. To cut a long story short, you must go to the Valley of Mines for me and fetch my gold. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. Where did you get all that gold? Am I the only one, then, who put some gold aside for himself in the Valley of Mines? Filching a few nuggets was a piece of cake, just in case we ever got out of there. Everybody was so keen on that ore that no one even cared for gold at the time. What are you planning to do with the gold? I still have an account to settle with one of the merchants in the Upper Quarter. I need to take care of that. And then I'll be all set for a new career. Where's the gold hidden? Directly at the trading square, above the abandoned mine. It's in a leather satchel. Spare yourself that comment. I know myself that we must have walked right past it. Just bring me the bag. But don't forget to check that it's the right one, so you don't walk all that way for nothing. How can I recognize it? It's full of gold. A whole lot of gold. I'll try to find your gold. Just do it. That's enough for me. I'm not telling you anything new. I found your gold. Great. Show me. Very good. Gerbrandt had better watch out now. Listen, I still need to take care of the guards. I want you to take this letter to Gerbrandt. He is one of the fat merchants in the upper quarter. Give him my regards. I'll meet you in front of Gerbrandt's house then. Will it ever change? Is it really true? That's the first I've heard of it. You hardly know who to believe these days. I can't believe that.
Diego says hello. What? Who? What Diego? And he wants me to give you this letter. That can't be. No. I'm a goner. Is he in town then? Who? Diego, of course. Yes, I'm gonna meet him here shortly. Oh, this is the end then. All is lost. I've got no time. I need to get out of here. Quick. If he finds me here, I'm done for. Hey. How's business? Not so great. Back when the barrier was still in place, times were better. The prisoners would scrape boxes and boxes of ore from the mines, and my ships then brought it to the mainland. On their way back, they bought food and other wares. But now we're cut off from the mainland and have to rely on the farmers for supplies. I've been to the Valley of Mines. And? How's the situation there? The mines are all depleted. There's barely more than a few chests full of ore. It's hardly worth digging for that. That can't be true. That means I'm ruined. But what about our deal? Now, about your reward. Here, take this rune stone. You've been selling weapons to the bandits. But what makes you think that? This list of merchandise that I took from a bandit bears your signature. I found this ring of the Overseas Traders Guild, Araxis, with the bandits. You're an overseas trader, and the swords which the bandits were carrying bore your initials. You can admit it now, I've blown your cover. I didn't mean to do that, believe me. First, all they wanted for me was food supplies. Business was really slow, so I got involved with them. Then they became more aggressive and threatened to kill me if I didn't sell them the swords they wanted. You can't blame me for this. I'm a victim of circumstances. Oh, don't make me weep. You're pretty repulsive for someone who lives in the upper quarter. You'd sell your soul for a fistful of gold pieces. I've got my expenses to cover. If I don't have cash, they're gonna feed me to the mob from the Harbor District. The militia is gonna deal with you. You can't do this. I should say I can. You'll be amazed. Bye, Enos. I'm ruined. How do you make a living now? I don't know, but at any rate, no more shady dealings for me. That much is clear. We see you, worm. You cannot escape us. Hey, you! I delivered the letter. Very good. How did Gerbrand take it? He was rather shocked and made himself scarce right away. I should think so. Oh, man, my I'm head. afraid that, first of all, I need to attend to furnishing my new house. If I remember correctly, Gerbrand's taste is horrible. The house is yours, then? Yes, from cellar to attic, with all the furnishings. Having spent several years in less than befitting quarters, I'm looking forward to sleeping in a soft four-poster bed. And then, for breakfast, I'll have a fine wine and some 
Excellent hay. You don't miss any chances, do you? You betcha. So how did you pull this off? Did you think that Gerbrandt came by his fortune through honest business? Of course, he never got his fingers dirty when it came to really shady deals. He had a helper for that. Of course, I caught on to a lot back then. Gerbrandt finally got rid of me. He was probably afraid that I knew too much. You never told me about that. You never asked me. What about my share? Looks like you haven't forgotten everything I've taught you after all. But you're right. I couldn't have done it without you. Here's your share. What about Gerbrandt? He has enjoyed the good life for far too long. He was living here in the lap of luxury while I was forcing down meat bug stew. I have no idea where he went from here, but he'll never get a foothold in Corinnus again. I'll see to that. If you're looking for him, you should try the Harbor District. Can you teach me something? Yeah, sure. Just let me know when you're ready. How's business? Lousy. Somebody should have told me that Corinus has gone to the dogs in the meantime. That's no news. I've only known the city like this. You should have seen it a few years ago. You would have liked it then. Teach me. I can teach you to become more dexterous. You become more dexterous already. Keep it up. You're possessed. Go away, go already. Hey, you! I've got some special snapper claws for you. My customer will be happy to hear that. I don't have the runestone here, but I know where it can be found. On your way from town to the inn, you'll pass under a bridge. There, in a cave, a friend of mine has deposited a runestone in a chest. Here's the key. I bring you news from Garand. Here, he gave me this message for you. Our situation is worse than I had feared, but report to me on the situation in the Valley of Mines. The paladins are holed up in the castle in the Valley of Mines, surrounded by orcs. There were many casualties in the prospecting operations, and there's barely any ore left. Well, I should say that without any help, the lads are lost. That's how it looks. I shall find a way to rescue this expedition. You have done much for us. Enos will thank you. I'm not all that interested in his gratitude. I want his eye. Yes, of course, I stand by my word. Take this letter. It will open the monastery gates to you. Speak with Pyrocar, the highest fire magician, and show him this authorization. He will grant you access to the eye of Enos. One more thing before you go. Take this rune as a token of my gratitude. It will take you safely back to the city whenever you want. How's the situation? I must find a way to rescue this expedition. We must do something against the dragons. Perhaps the Eye of Enos can save us all now. I'm looking for a metal ornament. It should have been by the stone circle near Lobar's farm. If you mean this thing here, we suspected that it might be a magical rune, but it turned out to be completely worthless. You can have it if you like. I have no use for it. <laughs> 